What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so finally after a long wait oneplus have rolled out a new update for oneplus 10 pro since oneplus 10 pro have been released oneplus did not roll out any update but today they have rolled out a minor update to fix some issues on this device so let's quickly take a look at all those fixes what oneplus have done on oneplus 10 pro so without wasting any more time let's get started so here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro which is running on the latest build of Oxygen OS 12.1. Talking about the software information, here you can see Android version is Android 12 and again no security patch update, it's been almost end of April now. OnePlus 10 Pro so called OnePlus flagship device is still running March security patch. So great job done by OnePlus here. Talking about the version, version is now E.13 for OnePlus 10 Pro. And if you guys haven't received the update, you can download the zip file. I mean to say incremental update files from the description below, place them inside the internal storage and then you can perform a local upgrade. This way you can update your device to latest build. And before talking about the bug fixes and the benchmark results, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. And we still have 82% of users who do watch our videos but haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So it wasn't a major update wherein you can see the update size was 164 MB. Talking about the benchmark results, so these are the results you can see the top results are from the latest update and the below ones are from previous update or you can say which came out of the box which was 12.1. Here single core has scored 989 and multi core has scored 3347. With Antutu benchmark application device has scored 7,37,661. But when we talk about CPU throttling, I did notice bit of issues after this update. So this is the first attempt which I tried where you can see the graph and with the second test also there were issues in throttling wherein max CPU throttled up to only 74%. But let's not depend on these things. I'll come up with a complete review after testing out the device thoroughly for a day or two. So stay tuned for the review video. And meanwhile, if you have any kind of questions or queries, you can let me know in the comment section below which we'll cover in the review video itself. And now talking about the change logs. So here are the change logs which are related to system, camera, and network. So with the first change log, they have improved algorithm of fingerprint unlocking. And yes, guys, there are a lot of improvements to be seen while unlocking the device. Now there are no random issues or you can say errors while registering or unlocking the device. And registering fingerprint is also quite faster now. Device do register in the first attempt itself. So here you can see there are no errors while registering the fingerprint. Sometimes device failed to register on the previous update but now that thing have been taken care and unlocking speed is also quite fast. Later they have optimized the power consumption on this latest build but that we cannot find it out now. As said I'll be testing out this build thoroughly and will let you know guys about the battery backup, camera performance and other stuff. Then they have optimized the audio processing and improved communication quality. Later they also fixed the issue of auto power on which few users might have reported but I personally don't use this feature. If you are the one who uses this automatic power off or power on feature on your OnePlus 10 Pro then do let me know in the comment section below whether that issue have been taken care or not. And at last under system they say they have improved the overall stability of the device. Talking about the next change log which is related to camera here they say they have optimized the quality of taking pictures with front camera. Though I did not notice much of improvements in the picture quality when we click pictures using front camera still I did notice bit of overexposure in the pictures click in harsh sunlight. Here are some of the samples you guys can take a look at them. And then at last some network optimizations have been done. So guys these were some of the changes what oneplus have done on the latest build of oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus 10 pro if you still have any kind of questions or if you want me to test out something then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to a channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day